The fifth annual New Mexico Restaurant Week is the perfect opportunity to go out and try some New Mexico's finest restaurants. Here to talk about it uh, is Glenn Williams, owner and chef of Cool Water Fusion. Thank you for coming in. Thanks you for know, having me. one thing that I think is great about your restaurant, we were we were talking earlier, uh, you know, because you've been here with us this morning, mm -hmm. your two casa this morning. You represent New Mexico. When we think New Mexico cuisine, a lot of times people, especially outside of the state, will they'll have a, a preconceived idea of what fine New Mexican cuisine is. You you kind of take that to a different level. You like to break expectations and really go above and beyond. Is that right? Yeah, I don't I don't uh, tend to like to necessarily do traditional food. Mm -hmm. I like to do food that's even outside of New Mexico, really, you know, the French and Italian classical cooking mm -hmm. and give it the New Mexico twist. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what we did this week with our special menu with uh, for Restaurant Week. Okay, so let's talk about what we're doing this week for New Mexico Restaurant Week at Cold Fusion. We're going to be the doing cool water. Uh, cool water. We're going to be doing um, four course meals for dinner mm -hmm. um, for $30 a person. And that's going to include an appetizer to share, salad, soups for a secondary, and a choice of five or six of our um, special items this week, entrees, and including anything off our regular menu. Wow. And then it'll okay. also have dessert to share as well. And we have some great uh, um, classical, uh, traditional desserts, and we have some kind of new, uh, interesting uh, specialty desserts. That's great. Well, what are, we, uh, what are we making here today, Chef? What do we got over here? Today, we, I, I brought a couple different dishes that we're gonna be, uh, this is our lunch, our quiche. Okay. It comes with a salad, mm -hmm. and that's for the three-course meal that we're doing for lunch, and that's gonna be $15 a person mm -hmm. um, with some six or seven fresh new items and everything off the regular menu as well, and it's gonna come with an appetizer and dessert. Okay. Um, actually, the steelhead, uh, Tom's prepared today, mm -hmm. and he's going to explain that. Okay. Good morning, Chad. Good morning. Uh, what we have here is we have uh, uh, steelhead trout mm -hmm. uh, garnished with a mango mango papaya salt. Uh, sorry, excuse me, mango pineapple salsa. Uh -huh. uh, uh, organic blue corn crusted shrimp. Uh, we have a uh, wild rice uh, pilaf, and we have green beans uh, sautéed with onions and garlic. That's fantastic. Uh, now, you guys said something that that this is this steelhead trout is a little different. There's kind of a backstory to this fish, something that we might not expect from, uh, you know, as you were saying, we're in a landlocked state here, so we're not famous for our seafood, but this has got an interesting story behind it. It does, the steel, steelhead trout uh, is a freshwater fish that feeds in the ocean. Uh, so it has the rich meaty texture of mm -hmm. salmon without the fishiness. Uh, it's also much more sustainable, okay. uh, and it's easily accessed uh, through the Pacific Northwest. Okay. So even though we're landlocked, we can get fresh uh, steelhead uh, trout uh -huh. uh, very quickly and so we get better flavor, uh -huh. uh, more texture and it's more accessible to people who aren't necessarily fond of the right. fishy taste of salmon. Right, because a lot of people and that you know they'll they'll make that complaint that they maybe like the taste but they don't like that smell so you get the best of both worlds out of exactly. this. Exactly. Great, so and what else do we have sitting over here? Sure. Oh uh, this is a beef tenderloin that's 10 ounce. Okay. I am going to wrap the green chili around it with a smoked bacon. Oh, man. <laughs> and then poke it with the toothpick to hold it. Yeah, we're gonna grill that. Unfortunately, of course, the kitchen doesn't have a grill, but we're gonna grill that and add the blue corn crusted shrimp okay. as well with the dirty rice, which is just a sausage and beef um, mm -hmm. rice, spicy rice, mm -hmm. and the sauteed green beans and onions as well. Wow. And this, I think, is gonna be a huge hit. We've done this on specials previously. Mm -hmm. People love it because you have the, the green chili flavor mm -hmm. and you have that smoked bacon, and of course, the Cadillacs of steaks, the big <laughs> fresh cut beef tenderloin. Yeah. And I do a 10 ounce steak, so there's by no means will you be feeling like you're having a little small portion. Right. That's a big part of what yeah. I do. That is, doesn't look like a small portion. No, to me. no, no. That, I mean, that looks like I, a great I want to make sure that the guests that come to our restaurant, they also they get a creative sense of some unique food, mm -hmm. but it's this is going to be a meal. This is going to yeah. be time to spend with your spouse or mm -hmm. or your significant other come in and have a great meal mm -hmm. and try something new, and I can guarantee you that this food's going to just blow people yeah. away. Now, is this something this is only during New Mexico Restaurant Week that we can get these? To be honest with you, my menu is fairly small. Mm -hmm. I'm a small bistro, mm -hmm. small place, and um, I have a small set menu, but over time it's evolved to where I'm serving more and more food. But I love to do specials. I don't, I get, I don't want to be set in a, in a set in a place Which where I great. can't be creative. Yeah. So I 
tend to constantly evolve and change and do new, new Which food. Which means we got to keep coming in and seeing exactly. it. Exactly. That's great. That's great. And so uh, you got a great lunch deal coming up too. Just very quickly tell us about that. The lunch deal is, uh, like I said, is a, is a three course meal mm -hmm. all week. And it's going to be a pairing of, of some special six or seven new items on the menu. I did a kind of a world menu. So like I did a fettuccine Alfredo with garlic, um, garlic bread and Italian version. I did a tortilla espanola, which is a Spanish dish, oh, traditional. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, of course, the quiche, you got French cuisine mm -hmm. in there. Um, kind of a, 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 an ability to do the world mm -hmm. menu kind of deal. That's mm -hmm. my regular menu. And then it's $15 a person, you get dessert as well with it. That's great. An appetizer, an entree, and for lunch, that's a pretty good deal. That is fantastic. That's great. Well, folks, we will also have information on our website at casa.com. Click on the style blog for both New Mexico Restaurant Week and Cool Water Fusion. We'll be right back, folks. I'm going to start my lunch early with that thing.